Hey everyone, my name is Andy. My channel is Finding Value. If you like commodities, uranium, gold and silver, whatever it is that's undervalued and can make you a lot of money, click subscribe. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments in the comment section. I'm going to go over a uranium update. I'll go over the price of uranium. I'm going to go over some market, some fundamental market kind of structural data because I haven't done that in a while. And then I'm going to go over technical analysis of a lot of companies that a lot of you guys want to see. And I'll give you my opinion. So let's jump in to uranium market update. So first I'm going to go over the price of uranium. Uh, we've got the downtrend line here. It broke the downtrend line, nice little pop higher, and we're above that trend line. So it's looking really good for a move to the upside. Value wise, uranium is above $60 per pound per one ounce gold. Over this uranium market, this, is, this only goes to 2013 just to show you history. Over this uranium market, I expect this to decline all the way down to somewhere like a 10 or below. So that's a long way. It's a 6x on whatever the, the price of gold does or more. Next, we've got the uranium supply demand. This is the market balance over time. We're right here in 2020. It's a small deficit. And what is important here is the deficits grow as we go into the future. And they grow quite substantially out in 2026 and on. Even this is somewhat substantial. So what we should see in the near term is price increases of uranium. We have a downtrend break. So it all, it, it, it's all lining up. And, we have, and we're going into a increasing deficit market balance, which is very ripe for increasing prices. And also keep in mind, we are below the cost of the majority of producing companies or developing companies. So that's going to put a lot of upward pressure on the price because we are not producing a lot of the uranium and cannot produce that uranium until prices move on up. Next, this is uranium price projections. And what I did is that this is the price of gold at 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, and 15,000. And what this is showing us is the leverage that uranium has to the price of gold. And I know this is difficult to read, but this is the ratio. This is a 60 to 1 ratio, and, and we read this from a right to left uh, standpoint. And it's just saying that as the price goes up in gold, this is each graphed. This is a $2,000 price, a $5,000 price, a $10,000, and a fifteen. dollars If we compress the ratio, this is what the curve looks like in our leverage to gold. And you can see if we get below 10, the leverage really starts to take off if we go into a, uh, a blow off top in uranium. So uranium has a lot of leverage against gold looking at ratio analysis. This is a, a chart that I developed. And another commodity is oil that also has a very large leverage to the commodity. So these are the two, oil and exceptionally, you know, uranium is an exceptional leverage play. With leverage comes volatility, and with volatility, a lot of people view that as risk. So just to let you know that. Uh, so this is URNM. Again, we're still in this uptrend, but we do have what's called a bearish engulfing pattern. They're starting to show themselves uh, across a lot of the companies. So I just wanted to show you that we do have a bearish engulfing, but we're still in this uptrend and we still have a lot of momentum. So we need to look to see if a potential pullback could come, we would see this, this trend line break and we should see a, a move lower. So that's kind of what I'm looking for over the next week or so. Or maybe the buyers come in and push this thing higher. That's a, that's a possibility. Here is uh, Appia Energy. Someone asked uh, for me to chart this. And what we have is we've got an uptrend here. We're right on this uptrend, looking very good at a very good price. And we have a cup and a handle pattern. So this thing could move probably up in the 40 something cent range from 29 cents. So this could be a good buying opportunity uh, if uranium overall, the uranium market holds up strong. Uh, this does have a lot of rare earth metals as well. 
Next is Global Atomic. Uh, we've got a very strong uptrend here. And if you draw this, it's getting real close to this uptrend. And we have a bearish engulfing right here. A lot of the momentum's been worked off if you look. We've got some volume here, uh, but the momentum's kind of stopped and it's traveling sideways. We've got buyers and sellers in this area here, and we are posting a bearish engulfing pattern, which means that this could potentially pull back some. Would I be a seller? Oh, heck no. But we could see a pullback and we could see potentially better buying opportunities. Next, Goviex Uranium. This guy is in a very strong uptrend. We do have what's called dark cloud cover, what that is, or a bearish piercing, however you want to say it. We are still in the uptrend. So again, I would not be selling anything in these companies with the valuations where they're at. But we could, you know, if this thing reverses, we're starting to see more bearish engulfings across the sector. It could reverse, but it is in a strong uptrend. I wouldn't expect it yet. I'd like to see more data over the next week. Bannerman Resources. I like me some Bannerman. Very strong uptrend. Uh, we do have a bearish engulfing of the candlestick before it. Perhaps this, this is all it can muster because we have good contraction in the candlesticks here. Uh, maybe we go sideways or pull back to the uptrend and maybe we continue higher. Let's, let's watch over the next week and see what Bannerman does. Camco Corp. Nice, nice big break through this area here. We had sideways pullback here. Typically this means that it's a very strong move. If we're only pulling back sideways, we pulled back to the trend line and went higher. So let's see, we have another, you know, somewhat of a bearish engulfing here, but this, it's a lot of momentum here. We could continue higher or perhaps we break this, this uptrend. It's one to watch next week. Next, we've got deep yellow. Deep yellow is looking fantastic. We have a break of this resistance line. You could see it came up, touched it, paused a little bit to regain some energy, came back up and broke through. So this is looking very good. Paladin Energy, nice break of this uptrend pattern, a back test, and we are moving higher. Looks very good. Sky Harbor Resources, drew in the, the kind of the resistance support line. We broke through it, pulled back, bullish engulfing, went on higher. And a, a typical con continuation pattern, we've got this large energy, very large chart, you know, uh, candlesticks here. Has a lot of energy to the upside, small pullback, and it's continuing to move higher. This one's looking pretty good. I like the, uh, the turn up of the 50 day and 200 day. Looks great. And a lot of volume down here. Here is Standard Uranium. It's a smaller uranium exploration company. Broke the downtrend, little consolidation pattern, moving on higher. Dark cloud cover, maybe we only pull back to here. We'll have to see, we've got an uptrend, right? it's pulling right back to the uptrend. Maybe this is a good one to look into if we see a move to the upside off this down or uptrend uh, support. Maybe that's where you buy and you just ride this guy on up. But it looks pretty strong, lots of volume stepping in and buying this. The, the stock. Next, next gen energy. It's looking very good. We've got this trend line going through. We broke the trend line. We're up above it. We bounce, you know, we touched this trend line right here, popped right on higher. Lots of volume. Looks pretty dang good to me. Next is uh, Fission Uranium Corporation. We're in this gigantic pattern. We're kind of in the middle. Uh, we're kind of coming up where this price is getting a little sticky around this area with a previous uh, area or congestion area. Hopefully we can break through and move on up. One to watch here. We do have this thing rolling over just a little bit. So maybe we get a little bit of a pullback before it heads higher. Here's ISO energy and I kind of drew a couple of trend lines in here. We're in between these two channels. Looks like we broke up above this channel here. It's just resting on the channel. Uh, but it's in a very strong uptrend. We've got support down here in case something happens. And we've got an, a little bit of resistance up above it. So we might see a run up and maybe it bounces back and forth between this channel. Uh, but it looks really good. <clears throat> Next is UUUU. UU. Uh, it took a, this is a big move in a short time period. Uh, and came right through this previous resistance right here. 
and it's just resting. It's like, man, that took a lot of energy. Let me relax and chill. Maybe it's having a beer. I don't know. But it's chilling up on top of this chart pattern here. And I'd like to see a nice move and continuation up. But maybe it'll sit here for a little while. Maybe it'll bounce back down. Uh, we'll see over the next week. Next is Canalaska Uranium. And I took a big picture view of this one, drew a chart pattern in, and it's coming on up to this chart pattern. This is one to watch because if it breaks this chart pattern, it's a pretty, you know, this is a, over a decade long chart uh, resistance trend line. If it breaks, it's probably gonna have a big move on up. Next is Pure Point, same thing. Very large chart pattern over a decade long. And we're just coming up right on this resistance trend line. It breaks that thing, we could see a pretty big, pretty big move higher. Next is oil. I, I threw a couple of oil companies in here uh, because I think there's also some very large opportunities in oil that I wanted to share with everybody, even in the, you know, even the uranium guys. Uh, so looking at this downtrend line, MCF, it looks like it broke through it, back tested right here, and we're perhaps maybe coming on up. We'll see. But Contango is looking really good, MCF. Here's SM Energy, big trend line break coming through here. Broke through it, and I'm hoping this thing can continue higher. This thing is coming from the depths of hell. <laughs> so low in the undervalued uh, area down here. With all the short sellers in there, this thing could potentially move quite a bit to the upside. But keep in mind, we're coming up on a congestion area where there's a lot of buyers, a lot of sellers all through this area. So we're gonna have a lot of battles as this thing moves on up. Here's Diamondback. We, we purchased Kiwi P on this channel. Diamondback bottom out. Uh, there's a couple of things I wanna say here. We've got a downtrend. This guy's gonna move up and I think we're gonna move up at cheetah speeds and we're probably just gonna break right through this downtrend um, pretty quickly. I don't think it's gonna sit too long because if you look at the opposite side, we really broke down, if you kinda come across, maybe at the $70 range. So I think this thing has a good chance of getting to 70 bucks pretty quick, mimicking this downward move right here. So it came down pretty quick. I think it's gonna come up pretty quick. So maybe around a 70-ish, and then we'll start to kind of break through the congestion areas all through in this area here. Next is uh, Centennial Resource Development. Uh, we've got a nice little trend line here that it broke, and we, we were on another huge trend line coming across before that this guy was sitting on. So I purchased here, said, hey, now's the time to go. Um, that was my opinion and told everybody what I was doing. Remember, this is a financial education um, channel only. And we're moving on up. Broke this, this nice little trend line. Now, if you look, this is a cup and handle pattern. Looking exceptionally good. This is a very large pattern. So we're seeing this move probably, I bet you we could hit four or five bucks on this pretty quick. Next, Tellurin. This is another pick that I like. We're scraping along uh, on the bottom here. Uh, I think liquefied natural gas is a very good opportunity. These guys have a, they're gonna be building a terminal. It's a vertically integrated company from extracting natural gas, piping it to a terminal, and then shipping. Tellurin, Tellurin looks pretty dang good. Grand Tierra Energy. A couple of things I wanna touch on here. Uh, when you look back, you can see that this move was pretty fast. I have a feeling that this is gonna move up pretty quick to this dollar-ish range. Another thing, cup and handle pattern. These cup and handle patterns are coming up everywhere. And if you draw this trend line through here, we broke out to the upside, which is a break of the cup and handle pattern. Looking exceptionally good. Again, this one's also a break of a cup and handle pattern, which means that you should be buying it on this break. So, uranium and oil, two excellent opportunities with a ton of leverage to the price of gold. They are both, I think, some of the best bets to be making on this next commodity boom because of the leverage. There are downsides to this leverage. It's very volatile and the movements can be quite large, so you have to be very risk tolerant. Uh, I consider, a lot of people consider volatility risk. And I know a lot of other people don't. The valuations are extremely cheap. Oil's at roughly 39 to one. It's probably 
Well, it's probably dropped quite a bit from that. It's probably 37 or 36 now, given gold went down and oil went up. But that ratio is compressing. We're seeing good moves in oil. We're seeing good moves in uranium. Uh, I think, you know, let's look to see what uranium has. We could potentially see a pullback. We're seeing some, some indications uh, on the candlesticks, statistical probabilities. Remember, that's all it is of a potential pullback, but I would not be a seller. I'm only looking to buy and add into my portfolio as these are drastically underpriced. And keep in mind, uranium is still one of the commodities where the, the price of uranium is still below the higher cost producers. I consider this absolute prime opportunity to be buying uranium companies because we are still in a supply cutoff area where supply is being cut off. Demand's coming. We see the deficits out in the future. Huge opportunities here. Take your best companies, look at the charts, do what you wanna do, cost average in. That's what I think is, is a good strategy and that's what I'm deploying into, uh, at least that's my strategy, buying. If you guys like this, this content, subscribe to the channel. I mean, we've got lots of opportunities here. Ride this commodity bull market up with our community. Thanks for listening. Give me a thumbs up. This is Finding Value.